Hey, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, D1 Snipes. Uh, <clears throat> today, I want to give you guys a review for Dragon Age uh, Inquisition multiplayer. Um, overall, this is a really fun uh, add-on to the game. Um, I, I didn't play the other games, so don't hate on me for that, but I it wasn't in the other two games, 100% sure. This is the first game that Bioware has put it in this game. Um, in the past, they've had success with their multiplayer. Uh, this is just some random gameplay clips thrown together for you guys to let you see uh, kind of how it works. You can run it with up to four people in this first part. Um, we were only running three, that's all we had, and my buddy didn't want to run with a random. Not really sure why, but it is what it is. We're running, I'm running a mage, and they both are running uh, like the warrior type guys. Uh, in the multiplayer, you'll see doors like that that they just kick through that each character can only open uh, to fight like side bosses that get you a little bit of extra loot, maybe even items. Uh, you play as the three basic, well, you start with three basic classes, a mage, a, like a archer, and then the sword and shield guy, a dwarf. Um, each of these classes can be leveled up. I think there's tw 10 or 12 total. Um, and you level up really quickly, so you get a lot of XP. I think I was level 4 after the very first match we played. We didn't even beat it. Uh, we only beat one out of the whole night that we played. Uh, we played for probably two, two and a half hours. Uh, leveled up two characters to I think like level eight. Uh, they're super easy to level up, so it's kind of an, an incentive to level up multiple characters uh, because it's so easy. Uh, you'll be weak the first round, but by the second or third game that you play, or the third or fourth game that you play, you're going to be really powerful. You're going to have a lot of spells, a lot of abilities. And uh, <clears throat> that's another thing that I want to talk about is the uh, like the skill trees. The skill trees are not like they are in the single player. You can't make like a lightning mage only. Uh, you're kind of forced to buy and use other skills, which is kind of cool because I use some skills that I didn't before and found out that I really like them and will now use them because of that. Uh, but they're kind of limited and you have to spend them very sparingly and you have to look ahead in the skill tree to get what you want. Uh, <clears throat> playing with four people is the way to go. Uh, we find it best to use the two uh, like warrior type uh, tanks, uh, one mage and one archer, or two mages. Mages can do a lot of damage, but the archers have some abilities that come in useful uh, in certain times, and they can open the door. So you want to have one of each of the three classes. Uh, overall, this was a a fun game type. Uh, you Unfortunately, you cannot bring your single pl player character over. I wish you could. That would make this uh, a lot better, honestly, as you can maybe level him up, or maybe you could uh, use some of his gear. Even if you couldn't, bringing the character over, uh, it means a lot to the player. Using, I've spent probably 20 hours, maybe 30 hours, working on a single player character, and then I go into multiplayer hoping that I can use my single player character, but you just can't. Um, it would be nice if they switched over, but they don't. Maybe it comes in an add-on later on. Um, the maps are varied. Uh, I think there's three different enemy types. Uh, the maps uh, are basically just uh, plates, like uh, square plates. Uh, they come in like different sections and different times of day, which kind of varies it up. Uh, it, you can tell it's the same map, but it feels different. Um, like I said, I've only played it for two evenings now, and it's it's been fun both times with four people. Uh, I'm not sure how the matchmaking is, uh, if people quit a lot. Uh, I hope that's not the case, but it could be. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and this review. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer everything I can. Uh, I'm not a big Dragon Age guy, so I don't know that much, but I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I have a couple help videos up already on Dragon Age. If you haven't, check those out in the uh, links in the description below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
Once this is all over, I suppose I'll have to return to the deep roads.